Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here and I'm back again with another video. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. 21,000 new subscribers. Welcome to the family. If today is your first time seeing this face on your screen, please do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm back again. I think this is going to be the last update on this topic. I mean, if something happens tomorrow, I'm definitely going to come here again and tell you guys. China denied what really happened. They denied by saying that it's the fault of America who is trying to destroy the relationship between Africa and China. And to me, I think it doesn't make sense. But the citizens are apologizing. Can you believe that? And something that I really don't understand what is happening, like who is quiet? I mean, the president of WHO is quiet. This discrimination is about COVID-19. Dr. Tedro, why are you quiet? I mean, you should come out and say something. We, we heard from Dr. Arikana, who is not even in WHO, but um, Dr. Tedro decided to keep quiet on a matter like this. But anyway, what is really happening today is funny. I mean, it's funny. That's why I want to share with you guys what is really happening in China at this very moment. Okay, hold on. Before I get into what is happening, um, there is a Chinese guy who made a video today to apologize to African because he called what is happening in China as inhumane. Hello guys, how are you? I'm Nai Chao, I'm from Shenzhen. Chinese时间我在网上看到一些关于广州非洲朋友的一些评论和一些事情非常遗憾听到这个但是我在评论里看到有些朋友说这是政府的行为对此我坚决反对 呃，我觉得只是一些个别的商店，因为在广州有成千上百万个商店，但是为什么是麦当劳？而且麦当劳也是美国的公司，所以说这很奇怪。我自己本人也有很多非洲的朋友，他们都非常好，我也非常喜
What else do we need? Sorry. I mean, this morning, a friend of mine from South Africa living in Guangzhou sent me a WhatsApp message and she sent me a picture of her Chinese landlord bringing her goodies, I mean, bringing her food and all that for her to enjoy. Just to tell her, I'm really sorry for treating you this way. And not long ago, my friends from China also sent me a video of them rejecting a gift from Chinese people because they just wanted to say that they are sorry for whatever that happened. It's for you. And here, it was for you. No, thank you. We don't need such a such a thing. We don't. 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 We no, we can take the paper, but the gift is okay. No, it's okay, thank you. We don't need it, thank you. 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 you. Thank you. You can remove only the thermometer to give us. No, we have mask. We have mask. So you give us only the thermometer. The thermometer is okay, but the gift? Okay. Okay. Ah, Bye -bye. This is for the document for the. Okay. What, the, what, what about this one? What is this? We cannot do Chinese. I have this one in my phone. It's okay. Thank you. The thermometer, only the thermometer is okay. Okay. Yes, we well. don't need it. We don't need this one. We take it. You carry. Wow. I mean, these brothers actually refused the gift? I'm impressed. I mean, can you all join me? A round of applause. <laughs> People like this should be leaders in Africa. People like this should represent the continent for us. Because after everything that was going on in China, Nigeria was receiving PPEs. Ghana was receiving PPEs from China. They, all of them refused to say a word. But even Chinese people have realized that what we did was wrong. And they are bringing gifts. There is a phrase in China, loose face. A Chinese man will never want a word, loose face. Even the China, what? Government refused whatever was happening. But the people don't want a loose face. So they came to do what? To apologize in the form of gifts. And I'm glad that our brothers refused because these brothers were like, what do you take us for? You treated us like animals yesterday and today you're bringing gifts for us to forget whatever that has happened. Boy, Mr. Ghana baby and I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode but hey, don't forget to share this video. Most importantly, tag Dr. Tedros, the president of WHO. I'm so disappointed that he never came out to say a single word about what is happening because this is a discrimination that is happening in China against African. He is an African and they were discriminating against African because of COVID-19. And who never said anything about it? But hey, I mean, we are 350,000 subscribers. Can we do this together? Please, if you are new to this channel, help me subscribe. I mean, let's 
hits 400,000 subscribers before April ends. And don't forget to support the channel on Patreon. I am Maya. Peace out.